Is it time for the Rockets to blow? You it up? have to start this one. Off. <laughs> no, no. I want to see. I want to know what you have to say first. Then, hey, then yeah. You want to know? Uh, well, I always gotta go first. Um, yeah, I think it's over. Like <laughs> it's time, it's time to blow it up. Um, I want. I don't think. I think James Harden should stay. Definitely, I think James Harden is the corner piece. He should definitely stay by all means. I think you can. You're gonna always have a chance to make the playoffs with James Harden as your best player. Always. I think the guy that needs to go is that <laughs> second guy, Westbrook. And damn near the whole roster. Let me explain. Small ball, it works. No, it, it does. It, it works. Golden State did it. San Antonio did it for a time. It works. Now you have to have the right pieces and the right players in the system for it to work. <laughs> you have to have guys who can shoot, guys who can defend at a high level, and the Rockets just don't have that. You got guys like Ben McLemore, Austin Rivers, Eric Gordon. He's been struggling for a little while in and out of injuries. And then you have the one guy who just really can't shoot him, which is Westbrook. So small ball, but small ball can work. You got the guy like P.J. Tucker who's like a dream on, not as versatile, but defensively he's like a dream on. But you don't have guys who can move without the ball, which also helps small ball because if guys are moving without the ball. Everybody touches the ball, and then everybody gets shot. If you have one guy who's just – Controlling the pace of the game, all game, every game, and then you got another guy who IQ is extremely low. I don't think it's gonna work. <laughs> so I think if to not necessarily blow it up like boom, but get hardened another, you know, <laughs> like, get hardened another guy. Try to get somebody for Westbrook, maybe a couple shooters, a couple three and D guys that you know a little bit better. Robert Covington type players like like that, but just a little bit better. And then I think they'll be okay. At this point, who's gonna trade for Westbrook though? You'll be surprised. Let's be real. I think the Knicks would. Knicks. To be honest. <laughs> but wait, who are you giving up, though? Picks. Picks. They have to. No, don't have anybody. if you think about it, though, if the, <laughs> the Knicks, yeah, if the Knicks were to trade the eighth pick, the Rockets could probably flip that. Like, Daryl Morey could probably do something with that pick. That what gives you the confidence wrong. Daryl Morey could flip that? Because he's like, I think he's made like 70 trades since being the uh, manager at Houston. And none of them worked. That would be such a mistake <laughs> for the Knicks if they traded for Westbrook. Yeah, that would, would be on par no, absolutely. for what the Knicks have done the past. You would just years. be watching yeah. him throw up a bunch of stats and lose. <laughs> for real, no, don't count. Look, the Rockets lost their opportunity in 2018, bro. <laughs> they lost they're, their 100 percent yeah. right. Oh, and Chris Paul got hurt. Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. That was, that was it. Their only shot. Oh, and just to tell you, Jack, when you talk to the mic, you just uh, you have to be like really in front of it. Yeah, got you. So it could pick up your voice. So okay, they lost their opportunity in 2018. Um, it's just. You have Chris Paul, you have Capella, you got these guys, you take Golden State to seven, probably the best team that's ever been assembled in, in league history, right? Yeah, the best team that's ever been assembled. Okay. Yeah. You take them to seven, and then the next year you lose to basically the same team. I know Durant, he was out for like a game and a, half, a game and a quarter, I think, at most. He was there for four games. And then you decide to blow it up? Like, I, what, what's the reasoning behind that? The, re, the, the year that Golden State... Is not Golden State. You decide to break up the team. You like the Capella trade, though. No, the Chris Paul oh, trade. Oh, it's about Chris Paul. Okay. And, and I think that Chris Paul would have fit better with this Rockets lineup than Russell Westbrook did because, sure. yeah. you know, like we're saying, Russell Westbrook can't shoot the ball. He's a low IQ guy. He, he's a high volume scorer. And you have <laughs> your really high is, volume though. scorer in James Harden. You don't need another one of those. And you I think the that Chris handler. Paul was a great distributor for this team. And, yeah. you know, I, I don't think that the small ball idea should die. Um, I really like the five-out style, and I think it could be successful, but I think they might have been better off not having P.J. Tucker playing center. Like, if you could have slid him over to the four and gotten, like, a, a yeah. Miles Turner who can shoot oh, it yeah. but wow. gives you some size down low, you know, I, I think, think that might have been a little bit more successful. <laughs> but I, I agree, Westbrook's got to go. The biggest problem that he causes, and it goes beyond the court, <laughs> Is you're paying two guys forty million dollars a year? So mm-hmm. how like how are you building a roster around that? I just don't think that's feasible, and I think it will be very tough to trade Westbrook. But like you said, someone will take him. Hopefully, for your sake, not the Knicks. <laughs> <laughs> but someone will take him, and I think that's the first move. And I don't think anything else major has to happen. I like the core that they have. Maybe an upgrade to Eric Gordon because he was a little bit inconsistent. But I think that James Harden can be the best player on a championship team. I do, too. Of course you do. I really do, too. <laughs> and, and that's something I'll allude to a bunch when I'm talking basketball. Is like I think there's maybe 
eight or so guys in the league that can be the best player on a championship team. And mm-hmm. when you have one of those guys, I think it's a huge mistake to trade him. Yeah, but it's just the Rockets roster is so stuck. You're pay- like you said, you're paying Westbrook and Harden $40 million. You pay Eric Gordon about 18 Yep. Covington is getting 12 Tucker's getting eight, which is good for his contract, but they're, I think, negative 15 in cap space. You so, gotta make some moves. Well, what are you gonna do with that? You really can't do much. You, it's stuck. Like I wish they would trade Harden for Harden stake. Harden stake. Well, you stake. you trade Westbrook, you get about twenty mil in cap space if you're in the negative fifteen. So you'll get about twenty mil. That's enough to get somebody else. But at the same time, ah, I, I don't know. Who, I don't know the free agency. What's the free agency is looking like? And I don't know how many picks they have. But it's gonna be tough to definitely turn it around this fast because they're always gonna be contenders. That that they're always gonna be contenders to make the playoffs. They're gonna be, but are they gonna be contenders enough to get over the hump? Because Golden State is coming back next year, fully healthy. So that's another team you got to worry about. Then you got to worry about though. well, you got to worry about Luca and Porzingis getting better. You got to worry about the Lakers. You're gonna have to worry Pelicans. about the Clippers. You got to worry about Denver getting better because they're still young. Did you just Pelic- say the Pelicans? Yeah, yeah, he did say that. I didn't say it. He said that. <laughs> Why not? It's just like everybody's getting better, and I feel like yeah. the yeah. Rockets are just going to stay they're stuck. And How old is James Harden? 31. 30, 31, yeah. It's, there's time's nothing, ticking. Yeah, there's nothing time's worse ticking, than just staying in, in the same spot because they're not going to win anything. In my opinion, they're not going to win with this core not just because every, everybody else is getting better. The Lakers are still going to be there. The Clippers, Clippers. are still going to be there. Denver. And you're not going to win, and you're not going to be bad enough to rebuild, so you're just wasting James Harden at this point is what wow. you're doing. Yeah. yeah, and you know what's the thing, too, is that um, I think there was a report that came out about uh, Russell Westbrook in Game 6 of Oklahoma City, that series, that he would abandon the offense for stretches. Oh, and that's, yeah, I that's, read that. Yeah, I and that's that probably today. why Mike D'Antoni's like, I'm not returning to Houston, because he's the one that announced that that's, he's not returning to that's Houston. That's another thing we have to wonder. Who's going to be your coach now Yeah, for Houston? And I do think that can make a difference, because I, mm-hmm. I have questioned D'Antoni's system in the playoffs for a while now. And I do wonder if you bring somebody else in, even with this group, although I still don't think this group can win one together, I do question if it would make a difference. Mm-hmm. I think so, too, because Mike D'Antoni's system was too stagnant, and it was just too, like, it was easy to defend come playoff time because yeah. it's the it's same true. thing over and over and over But again. he just didn't make any adjustments. I mean, exactly. you, you won pretty well in game one versus the yeah. Lakers. Then every other game, you, you did didn't the same adjust. Thing. Yeah. It was the That's same the thing. thing. Mike, legendary coaches, you see you see how, why they're legendary. They make the adjustments in series and all that. And Dan Tony, he just you, he wins one game, and he's just like, all right, I'm going to ride this for the rest of the series. And even if you're losing, I'm still going to ride <laughs> it because we just won a game. And it's like, come on, bro, you can't do that. You know what people aren't talking about enough? Trading uh, Capella was more to fit Westbrook than it was to fit Harden. Mm-hmm. Because now Capella was huge. When Harden would go into the yeah. lane, he would do that little floater. You wouldn't know if he was lobbing it or doing a floater. And now they don't have that. With Chris Paul, you were able to. But with Capella... You can't have two non-shooters, especially in that system. I think Capella would have been good for this series in particular and like guarding Anthony Davis and getting rebounds. I think that would have helped you guys big. And you could have had P.J. at the four where he could have guarded LeBron instead of putting one of them skinny mm-hmm. wings you got on LeBron. So I think that would have definitely helped you guys at this moment. I thought the worst part about losing that series to the Lakers is that they didn't beat you guys the way I thought they were going to. I thought it was just going to be domination down low. I thought they were going to use JaVale, Dwight Howard, and Anthony Davis. I don't think Dwight played, right? Yeah, no, Dwight didn't. didn't play a single game in the series. Yeah, every and and JaVale got sad after down. game two. Mm-hmm. So, like, they went small against you guys. Yeah, the yeah. fact that they yeah. like the Rockets got beat with their own small ball system made it even worse in my opinion. <laughs> and, and I'm yeah. not trying But they put AD like, at the five? Yeah, yeah. yeah which the, he is super against, but it ended up game, being their best lineup. Each game, McGee and, and Howard's minutes went down. The mm-hmm. last game, they played zero minutes the entire time. I'm assuming LeBron played the four and just brought the ball up? Now nah, Markeith Morris played mm-hmm. the four. Okay. Yeah, and it's like, it's not even... What what I hated the most about watching this series is I couldn't stand watching Westbrook play. <laughs> each time each time he would go into the lane, LeBron would block him. No, his IQ is really, and really low. I just didn't get it. There would be times where he was on a fast break, and there was one play I remember in particular where Austin Rivers was wide open, and Westbrook just completely baffles on the play. He, he's, he passes it so badly. That's a form of selfishness to the yeah. team. And he, I, I forget which game it is, but he killed you guys late with a turnover too in one game. That was game. Mm-hmm. That was game two. When yeah, he had, yeah, he yeah, had yeah. like five turnovers in the fourth. When, when, you when he threw it behind him. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then yeah, we he did the even, air ball. They didn't even get a last shot because of his turnover. Yeah, he's an idiot. I don't. Can't shoot. 
And, the game's getting too skilled for a player like him. It is. The We're, thing is, I don't know what's wrong with him because he had the mid range a couple years ago. What's wrong with him is he can't shoot. They he's were leaving him. Yeah. He's, he's, yeah, he's declining. Yeah. That's the same. That's what I'm saying. His oh, no, his be like 80%. I, I was going to tell you his splits, but I didn't even want to say it. It's <laughs> like embarrassing. Really embar- yeah, it's like really embarrassing. He shot 53% at the free throw line. So just who, th- just think about this. For him. I'm telling you, the Knicks would do it. I look, j- just think like about this. Bro. Westbrook this year with the Rockets had his most efficient year of his career. Yeah. And he shot 47% from the field. Before the bubble. And like 26% yeah. from three. And this 20, was his most efficient year. 27, seven, seven, and seven. And that's crazy because he does a lot of his scoring in the paint, too. Mm-hmm. So yeah. to be shooting that low efficiency. The thing he, is, it, with most of your points coming in the paint, that's really. And he works good. on his three, like in the summer. Like he works on it <laughs> relentlessly. Like yeah, that's it's not the problem. Yeah, he just can't shoot. I, I said it before this series. I said, well, after game one, I said it that this series is going to come down to Rondo and Westbrook, and Rondo just outplayed him. People think of Rondo game. as this playoff Rondo. Oh People God. think of Rondo as this bad shooter, but Rondo for his career is like thirty three percent. He he can hit it if you if he's open. <laughs> if he's bad. open as Westbrook, Westbrook was like ten or fifteen yeah, feet. Westbrook open. is open. They give him the Ben Simmons treatment. He literally yeah, is wide open. Shooting. They give no AD honestly, on him, and they dare him to come to the paint. They give Westbrook even worse treatment. I think um, he, no, 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 AD no, no. was guarding him. Rudy, Rudy Gobert. <laughs> Rudy Gobert. Well, because they're daring Westbrook, Westbrook to go to the paint. LeBron, that's his thing. LeBron literally laughed in his face. He said, "You got to double me," and LeBron literally laughed. They in were his down face. twenty points. I don't know why he said that. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's horrible. <laughs> And you, you brought up a good point about Rondo because he was really good in the series. And I think what Playoff he brings to the, to the Lakers <laughs> is so important. That's right. You think he can be that third super, uh, star that oh. they need? Not super, pardon me. <laughs> I, I <don't laughs> know. Superstar. It, it, it's not even that he's a star. It's just mm-hmm. what he brings to them, especially with the loss of Avery Tangibles. Bradley. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and he brings an actual ball handler that can let LeBron play off the ball a little bit. Because he's a really good defender, too. Yeah. <laughs> when he people, wants to be. People forget mm-hmm. that yeah, the does. series that Dame got swept by the Pelicans – it wasn't just Drew. It was Rondo. Yeah, yeah. Rondo, no, Rondo yeah. was guarding Rondo CJ. Was, he was playing phenomenal. Yeah, they were locking them up. Yeah. Yeah. When he wants to play D, he can play D. He just has to Regular have his season Rondo, he's whack. And, 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 and you look at that play. series. KCP played really well in a Which couple games. Dan, if, if the Fitness Lakers threes. could get their guards playing consistently well together, mm-hmm. and I'm not mm-hmm. talking about like 20 points a night. I'm talking hit 40% of your shots. The, no one in the league can touch them. But yeah. the question is, it, you know, on any given night, two of those guards are not going to show up. It's like right. playing the lottery. So it just went. Danny it, Green, it, Danny yeah. Green showed up too. It that went against the Rockets. Yeah, I know. The, it just so happened that on three different occasions, pretty much all the guards did show up. Which, which is it, not even your fault. Yeah. Because Danny Green has been horrible. So exactly. that's like, it wasn't even like, it was just ACP like. ACP too. Yeah, so it was just like a damn. And Caruso night. hit a dagger Caruso three. Caruso was really like good. One of the yeah, games. It was just like one Caruso of those nights where you're just like, man. damn. This I, life. I like Caruso too. I, he gets really like good. memed a lot, but he's actually a really oh, yeah, good he's player. A good he does player. get memed. He's a good he gets player. memed, <laughs> but he's not a joke. He's a real legit no, he's player. A good player. He's really good defensively too. Hello, guys. You just watched a clip from Pick a Side. If you like our content, please like and subscribe and share our content across every platform. It helps us grow. Thank you for watching, and see you later.